Okay, so in order to merge any video and audio file in the quickest way, what we're going to be using is FFmpeg. And all the links to all the websites that I'm showing will be in the description. I'm going to be showing you this process on a Windows 11 device, but I'm pretty sure the uh, steps are pretty much the same for a Mac and a Linux device. So for Windows, you just want to go ahead and hover your mouse over that and then it will show you these two options. You want to go ahead and select the first one. Then you'll be taken to this website. What you want to go ahead and do is scroll down and go ahead and download the full version. You can do the essentials too. It will probably work for most of you, but uh, I recommend just getting the full version if you in the future need it for some other codec or anything like that. After that, you're actually going to be needing 7-zip to be able to actually run this program because this doesn't actually get saved to a directory. It's basically just a folder where you save the app and you basically tell Windows to go ahead and look for the app if you, if you want to open a certain file. So for most of you, you're going to want to select the first one, which is 64-bit Windows x64. But uh, if you're unsure, then you can always just go ahead and Google your uh, device name and go ahead and see what it is. So you should have these two files right over here. And uh, first of all, you just want to go ahead and extract this uh, 7-zip file and uh, it will basically just go ahead and download. And when all that is set up, you want to go ahead and double click on this. But then it might ask you that uh, there is no app that can open it. So what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and select always use this app to open .7z files and you want to go ahead and click on more apps. After that, you want to go ahead and click on look for another app on this PC. Then you will be automatically taken here and you want to go ahead and click on the 7-zip folder. Then you want to go ahead and click on a 7zfm. Then this app right here will go ahead and open. You just want to go ahead and open it up and go over to bin. After that, you actually want to go over to your uh, hard drive and go ahead and actually create a new folder right here. So for the tutorial that I followed, they basically showed that you can ca uh, call the folder anything, but uh, they call it path underscore programs, which I think work re uh, works really well. So just go ahead and name it that. And what you want to do is go ahead and open the new uh, folder that you have created. After that, if you want, you can go ahead and open them in a side view right here. And basically what you want to do is just go ahead and select all these and simply go ahead and move them to this location. After that, you want to go ahead and click on this path right here and you want to go ahead and click on Control C. After that, what you want to do is go ahead and search for path on your uh, Windows device and go ahead and click on edit the system environment variable. After that, you want to go over to environmental variables. After that, you want to go ahead and select path right here and go ahead and click on edit. After that, you can go ahead and click on new and just go ahead and paste in the path that you just copied. After that, you can go ahead and search up a CMD on your Windows device and go ahead and just type in FFmpeg. And if you see a bunch of text, that means that it has been installed successfully. After that, you want to go over to the path where you have both of your uh, audio file and your video file. Then you just want to go ahead and click over here and go ahead and click on CMD and go ahead and click on enter. That will open a new CMD window for specifically that path. After that, you want to paste in this command, which will also be in the description. And uh, after the dash I here, you will see that I've called my one video.mp4 because that's what my test video is called. And you just want to go ahead and change that to whatever your video file name is. And after the uh, second dash I, you want to go ahead and change this to whatever your audio file is named. For me, I do have a quotation marks because I have a space between the name. But if you don't, then that's not actually necessary. After that, you can just go ahead and let all this be. This uh, right here, output.mp4, is what your video will be called when it is combined with the audio. After that, just go ahead and click on run and see the magic. As you can see, you get a bunch of data, but uh, after that, uh, it has completed and it goes back to this line over here. That means that it has been successfully run. As you can see, when I head back, I have a third video and audio combined here, which is output.mp4. So that is how simple it is.